Good morning, everyone. It is 10 o'clock. Super sunny, but super, super cold. So cold. I woke up around 6.15 when Dan came into the shower. And my alarm was set for seven because we have a two hour delay. Had, had around 6.45 while he was still in the bathroom, I saw that the schools posted on Facebook that they were going ahead and closing. It is so icy everywhere that people were very shocked. Probably downstairs with the other shops. I don't know then. Okay. People were leaving angry messages about it being a delay because two hours of delay was not going to change the temperature. It was still going to be well below freezing. And apparently people were getting calls at like 8.30 at night saying their bus stops were closed because the buses wouldn't be able to get to them because they weren't plowed yet and that they were going to have to go to the next nearest that was like a 30 minute walk and they were like, what? <laughs> I was like, that's ballsy for them to say that. So yeah, they canceled it. I don't know why they waited so long, but that was that felt nice to take some things off my calendar it was so confusing that i had to like list everything all the updated times for when i had to get to the bus stop when i had to drive checks and then i have to go to the library and then i have to leave the library early and go to the dentist i didn't have this on the, my calendar but i need to go to the grocery store for medicine for dan just his normal stuff that he's running well on and then Stuff for lunches, potentially only one lunch this week. We'll see, there's Friday, there's, there's snow on the horizon. But then I need to get back for the bus stop, which normally is okay. I've talked to the bus driver and he can get off by himself, but he fell yesterday coming back to our house the same way. So I was a little nervous about that. I was like, I'd rather be there. And then I would need to go back out and get Jack. So lots of driving. So I got to take off two full round trips to the middle school and back. Take off two walking round trips up, the, up and down that hill, which is an ice skating rink. So I just need to go out to the library, the dentist, and the grocery store, which is all in a kind of little triangle. And the main roads should be fine. It's just getting out of the neighborhood. Looks all wrong. Looks We're lucky that our HOA hires somebody. But that is our update. I just finished another square and I wove in all the ends for everything. There's a doggy hair. I'll have to clean these all before I pack them up to donate. But yeah, I've got should keep these organized. I've got the three for the pastel blanket and then I was just just randomly chose these because I've got a really big ball of brown. I'm doing a solid blue and it'd be nice to do a solid brown but I'm gonna just have to bring this with me. I'm gonna bring my own stuff too. <sighs> but I need to stop and eat something. I was eating a yogurt. But I have a bagel waiting for me. I normally am starving on days where we have knitting group, I call it. Because, hi. Oh. <laughs> Happy snow day. It does says the snow's probably frozen, so be careful. Normally I'm super hungry on my knitting knees. Well, didn't eat something. I'm not making your lunch yet. It's 10 in the morning. <laughs> you wouldn't even be eating at school yet. The kindergartners would be eating. 
because it is 11.30 to 1.30. And then I have to go to the dentist at 1, so I'll be leaving there probably like at 12.40. It's like a probably a five minute drive, and then you add a few minutes for getting to and from the car, but I want plenty of time because I don't know what the parking lots are going to be like. So I had no time to eat <laughs> until after that, and then I don't know what my mouth is going to be like. So I'm going to try to eat the bagel. I get nervy about driving, about going to the dentist. Just life. <laughs> so I don't know how well I'll do, but gotta eat. I am hungry, so I think I'll be fine eating that. And hopefully that'll hold me. Sometimes I bring a snack to the meeting and they're nice about letting me eat it when you're not supposed to like a little protein bar or something, but I don't want that all up in my teeth since I'm going straight. But that's my update. I don't really film much there because I don't ask anybody. I might get some clips. And my dentist is supposed to be fast, so I don't know that I'll get anything there. So I don't know. Sorry, I mean, this isolation thing has just been me talking, but it is what it is. I don't know why Facebook decided to send out one of my isolation videos to more people than usual. Sorry about that, people, if you're new. <laughs> I'm always boring, but not usually this boring. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go make my food. Oh, Sebastian does want me to pack him a lunch. Do they like it up in school? So I need to do that before I go. I've gotta go in an hour, so. Bye for now. so crusty, so are my lips, because I had them do fluoride. Oh, that is car make get all sorts of mess. My car is loud because it is freezing, and it's trying to warm me up, but I just got groceries and a new shovel since I broke the hours. It's been a day, and it's just been going. That meeting came up so fast. I had to start getting ready for things at 10 a.m. to get Sebastian's lunch packed up and get my teeth and retainers ready to go to the dentist and just scrambling to finish more squares. But yeah, knitting group. I guess it's been crochet group lately because we've been doing the blankets. It went well and I guess the library wants to put blankets up on display for a month before they donate them which is super sweet. I love how this is kind of growing. So the two I donated last month are gonna get hung up soon. And we're starting to sew together a new one. One of the squares I did today, we ended up adding to it because it was just like a, a pastel turquoise and it matched up. So I quickly, in the time I had there, did one more that was turquoise in one of the colors that we already used in the blanket from our scrap bin just barely got that done and then I had to go. I checked out a few books just to 
two minutes to do that, so Sebastian would have some books and then headed to the dentist. <laughs> I didn't have my technician because I've been shuffled around so much because of the snow, but the lady I had was fine. Not as friendly, but super nice anyway, if that makes sense. Uh, I hate the teeth. <laughs> I haven't really looked at them. That's the, like, it's really shiny in here and my sunglasses are dark, so I haven't seen them. I'll look at them later. I hate the way they feel, just like somebody else's teeth, but we're gonna get used to them. These are these are mine now, and I think we should name them. So if you have any ideas for naming those two teeth, it's number 30 and 31. Apparently, they need better names than that. And yeah, my retainer fits, so that's good. Even though it's like seriously breaking, I need to stop dropping it. It's just gonna completely shatter. I already hate it from that. It, but breaking off the end but we don't got money for that right now I think I'm gonna stick long term to my plan of wearing it a couple hours before bed and 45 minutes when I'm getting up I'm very distracted oh what time is it it's three but it took an hour at the dentist she was very busy but I think they crammed everybody from yesterday and everybody was already on today into so now yeah, it just feels so weird, like it's something. I don't like it, but we'll learn to like it. This is, this is what I have. It's just a weird shape. And it's feeling okay, just feels like somebody, again, jammed something hard down into my jaw. So it feels tight and a little achy. That's all I get. My lips are so sticky from that fluoride treatment. They almost didn't do it. They keep not doing fluoride. I blame them on my <laughs> fillings failing because I I would pay for fluoride every time, but they just keep not offering it. But I remember she said she was going to do it after they were in, but she disappeared to go help somebody else and I had to tell the tech. And she tracked her down and figured out what she had said. She wasn't sure if she meant just put fluoride around the crowns or everywhere. She meant everywhere. So that was done. Apparently I would have had to pay for it, but I had a credit. I don't know. I always have a credit there. Why? But went so oh fuck. I forgot to get his Prilosec. I need to go back in the store. Uh. <sighs> he asked for his heartburn medicine so we gotta go back in and then when I was pulling up to the store he's like oh we should get stuff for veggie pasta so I was focused on that and then I saw they had snow shovels which we needed so I was sending up pictures of that and, ugh, I didn't even go through the medicine now so we're gonna go run back in and get the sick <laughs> and then head home and then we're done for the day and that it's just been so much going. I've been wearing my mask because I think I'm supposed to still, I'm not sure, but it is like covering up how crusty I am. I don't know what I look like. Oh, the teeth are so crusty and I'm gonna forget and smile. All right, but we have to go back in because I can't not get his heart for medicine. He's got to take it for his Ian still of Ian cynophilic esophagitis. Oh, that's it. Okay, we're going back. <laughs>
Hello everyone. I just had my bath. Look at my waves. There's almost like a little curl going on there <laughs> from the humidity. Oh, this is the only humidity I get in my life right now. It is so dry in here. It says 20% there, but that's the lowest it shows. It can't go any lower than that. Anyway, I think I told you about most of the day. I talked to you when I had to run back into the store. I got my husband's medicine and came home and I just needed to be a blob in the chair. Right over there, it's so dark, you can't see. I just needed to be a blob. I was just shaking so hard at the dentist because it was really cold and I also shake when I'm nervous. So the combo was just like, but like, it wasn't just me. The dentist came in, she's like, I'm shivering. It's so cold in here today. So it wasn't just me, but I made it through that ordeal. I don't like the teeth yet. There's at first I said that one is too high. I think it's just because sometimes I bite off center. When I bite normal, it's perfect. But yeah, I guess I move my jaw around a lot and I keep bumping that side that's high and I just need to get used to it. But I'm serious when I say I'm gonna name those two teeth. That's just like a coping strategy of mine. When something is upsetting and I just have to live with it, I usually will give it a name. I even did it with the kids, like my firstborn was really afraid of bugs and we had some ants in the house and we had to get exterminated. But if they appeared in the bathroom and he freaked out, I was like, no, 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 that's that's Sally and Bob, but I don't know his friend's name. Let's give him a name. And then every time we saw an ant, it was Sally or Bob or, or Peter or whatever he named. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna name those teeth. So if you've got ideas, it could be a matching set or it could be two different things. I might name them or I might grab one of your ideas. Name my teeth, here they are. Teeth, they look like teeth. And I don't feel the crusty bottom edges. It doesn't feel like they're tapping on my teeth but I haven't fully eaten anything. I haven't eaten on that side. I'm allowed to half floss, which is what I call it, but I don't know what they call it, floss and pull it out so you don't like go back up. Just for one night, we're doing half flossing and then I can floss freely because I guess this is different cement, but I, I don't trust it. I'm not gonna floss on those teeth tonight, I think. Yeah, no, I'm not going to because I don't want to do the half floss. I'm a little nervous about it. I use a flosser stick and I'd, I'm not really good at getting into my own mouth. My mouth opening <laughs> is small. Weird thing to say, but it is, and it causes problems with the dentist. They're like, sorry, we, we really gotta stretch your mouth. But yeah, so one more day of not flossing. Surprisingly, things were clean, and they did say, we can tell that you floss once because it came right out. Like, I just think that I was brushing, and there's that one floss, but I'm brushing a lot because it felt so gross, and chipping away at the cement, I could feel the edges of it, I'm like, this is not staying in much longer, though, so I absolutely had to go today. Anyway, I'm circling back to Common Threads, the Knit and Crochet group. We had the leader, who's a librarian, come, and a lady who's mostly a knitter, she came last time, and somebody who's there sometimes. She's mostly a knitter, but does some crochet too. And then uh, one of the children's librarians always comes and does needlepoint projects during her lunch break. So we had all those people and not the person who was planning to come with three of the pastel ones. So luckily the leader had made some and we ended up extending it a little bit further. So we needed two more, three more. I had a solid turquoise one, and as I said, that I was able to give, and then I spent my time there, which I probably got there at like 11.40. I was driving really slow because of that ice, and then had to leave at 12.40. <laughs> so that was really short, but I got one of those done, woven the ends of all of them, and 
yeah, I think they just had one more hole left. The leader was starting to sew it together and somebody was working on one that kind of matched so they could throw it in. But I went ahead and took back my brown and blue and white squares to work on until the next one. I might also grab another color from my stash. I don't have a very big stash, but and then do brown and white in that other color and mix it up and maybe even another, who knows, we'll see. I want to work on my stuff too, but our next meeting is on the 7th. We don't have to wait till the third Wednesday. We got approved for twice a month. And I think I told you, but they're going to be displaying our blankets for a full month before they donate them because I guess the library is really proud of it and I'm proud of it too. So we're doing good. We are donating to Laws, which I think is a domestic abuse shelter. I need to look that up. But it's definitely a really great shelter, charity, something. I know I've heard nothing but good things, so I need to find out the details. <sighs> and yeah, that was pretty much the day Danny offered the cook dinner, which is amazing. It's a veggie pasta that I usually make. He's a better cook than me because he should actually be a chef and teach cooking. So I have come so far since like the year before the pandemic, we were doing like meal, cook, meal kits and I learned a lot following those directions and then the pandemic hit. And so I just went with it. We couldn't do the meal kits anymore because everybody got the meal kits and they're all sold out, but yeah, I can make it, but it's just a tiny bit better. <laughs> so I got all the ingredients and I'm so glad to just sit for like 20 more minutes and not have to chop all those veggies. That one is one of the meals that I have to chop a lot and the soup I make is the other one. That's my pandemic, my quarantine soup. <laughs> when we were in lo lockdown soup, that's what I called it, lockdown soup. I invented that one based on a recipe and I, that I changed when we were fully in lockdown, like everything was closed. You could only go out to the grocery store and back, like things were closed, closed. So I'm very grateful that he was able to cook that, and especially because he has to have his mask on. And I know he doesn't love it, but he's been so good about that. And yeah, I just took a bath afterwards. I've been doing laundry. I just started the dishes. I'm still trying to get the chores going, but Tonight's the first night I have to set my alarm for 5.30 since last Thursday. Last Thursday, the last time I set it, because Friday was a normal day, but then we had a three-day weekend, and then a snow day, and then an ice day. So, yeah. We actually got a call while Danny was cooking dinner <laughs> from the school that said, did you finish your cocoa? Yeah. Okay, say goodnight to Dad. Did you get Fluffy? Is Fluffy downstairs? Oh, well, come show them because I only took a photo, not a video. You got to see the fluffy matches you. What was I saying? Usually I can remember. But I, oh, yeah, that we got a call while Danny was cooking dinner and that schools are open. I've never gotten a call that schools are open. But I didn't think they didn't want people to complain. You go over here. You want to on height? I know, but be in the light. See how the light is shining on the floor? Yeah. Right here, right here. Hide it behind my back. Okay. So I'm wearing the sweater. That I made. Yeah. And then Fluffy's wearing the Fluffy. sweater that she made. So cute. Are you warm and cozy, Fluffy? <laughs> if you have a stuffy day, who's I'm gonna go? Maybe you'll have a stuffy day because it's almost the end of the quarter. I wonder if you will soon. No. No? Cause... No, I said no because we, we will be, but not because it's the end of the quarter. Did you earn it? Yeah. Oh, nice. So soon? <laughs> All right, well, I've been talking too long, so I'm going to say goodnight, and you need to say goodnight to Dad. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's all we need to do downstairs because your clothes are still out from yesterday. So the school called and they're like, school will be open as normal tomorrow with no delays or closures. 
we will keep you updated as we look ahead to Friday because Friday we might get snow. <laughs> Not a lot, but enough. It could be enough. They might have a one day school week. And Friday I am scheduled to volunteer for the lunch shift, which I haven't done in a while, so I would like to. Well then come say, come right now, because I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I would like to do it, but obviously, obviously they would like a snow day as well. So, good night everyone. Oh, we gotta turn this on. Now they can see us. We're gonna tip so they can see you. Stay safe. Be kind. And, and don't, don't forget, forget. Wash your hands.